That was 1963 that he first introduced me. And I was on a club in Manchester on the Saturday night. I got in the car with Pauline, drove down, slept in the car, and I wanted to be on the Palladium more than anything in my life. And I was stood waiting to go on and I wanted to run home. I was terrified. And he was great. He introduced me. He said, I know our difficulties on here <laughs> and all that. And they said to me, I had six minutes and I did nine. The top of the bill had to cut a song out and they went, don't go back on. And the audience went potty and they went, get back on then. And I went back on and he said, you, 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 you did marvellous. <laughs> and I just said to him, I said, I was a kid. I said, thanks, Mr Forsyth. And he went, he called me Mr Forsyth. <laughs> And I'd always, always call him that. And then you stayed friends. So how did that friendship continue? Did, did you well, end was... up working together? Or... No, he owed me money. <laughs> and so, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Played golf. Well, he, he, Janet, he, he got me with Dickie Henderson to play golf. Yeah. He was a good a moaner on the golf course. Good. Was he? God, <laughs> could he moan? Boot. <laughs> did I mean, you he... cheat? How or did dare you? you? <laughs> Who had to win when you were playing golf? Well, it wasn't the case if I had to. I could. <laughs> What did he moan about? Why was he moaning about oh, the, the, the luck I'd have it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said to Big Connery one day, and he could wind Connery up. As in Sean Connery? Oh, yes. Oh. And he said... Uh, and the caddy kept going when Bruce hit the ball. And Bruce says, are you in a hurry? And Connery said, no, it's a compass. <laughs> But he was, he was great like that, wow. and if you uh, asked him to do things, he, he would always be there if, if he could give you a hand. And Ronnie Barker's last night out, God bless him, was the little fellow, little Ronnie, Parky, Bruce and myself, and we uh, took him out. It's one of the... F I don't keep many photos, but I've got that. It was like a group of the lads, and you, you'll all love this. I said to Ronnie Barker, what's the best thing you did? He said, right away, porridge. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, he said, porridge was the best. Yeah. So they're wonderful memories, and they were all with Bruce. And the last time I saw him, I went with Kenny Lynch around the house, and his lovely Mrs. Winella. He was sat down. She brought sandwiches and the tea in for the lads. She said, I'll leave you now to go back in time and laugh. And we just roared laughing yeah. at things. He got... <laughs> I've got to be careful for a second. He got very <laughs> uh, annoyed when people recognised him all the time. Mm. How can you not recognise <laughs> yeah. the chin and all that? And we went to the Open Championship at Birkdale and Kenny Lynch wrote on an envelope, this is Bruce Forsyth, <laughs> and did that on his back. <laughs> <laughs> and he had the dark glasses, the tie and the hat. Yeah. I can't understand this, he said. People are stopping me everywhere. <laughs> well, he took the coat off and the language. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you performed on stage with him? Uh, well, when he, ha he had a fall, and then he had an aneurysm. We were doing a tribute to Max Miller. Yeah. Because Bruce had worked with him. I hadn't, but I hero worshipped Miller. And I could do him a little bit. And it was all set. And then he had the fall. And he felt he couldn't bounce on like he did. You know, mm. Bruce Forsyth to all us, all the girls mm. here and, and the gentlemen. Mm -hmm. He was 35 for 50 years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't he? Busy. Mm. busy. He'd been, yeah. Don't do that and all yeah. that. And uh, he always, felt... You, you know, he was dancing all right the up time. there. How was it that last time that you saw him? Did he seem... Did it feel like he was going to go soon? Not or at was all. was he quite well? Not at all. Bright as a button. Mm. Doing it all. But he wasn't as quite as mobile as he'd been. Mm. Oh, no, he was in great form. He was form. still doing his exercises and things, wasn't oh. he? Well, he was great at them, meticulous about yeah. that. That funny twirly thing he did. Yeah. Look that. <laughs> He'd well, do these mad spins, wouldn't he, for years? But he had an exercise balance. kind of program yeah. every day. Did it yeah. all? I mean, uh, there was a walking machine uh, in, in in his room and that, and just to get him going and go. No, he was looking forward to going back to work. Didn't the four of you and, and Sir Bruce and Ronnie Corbett do the London Palladium together? Was that? It was that the was best show. royal show I've been on. I don't want to be I I I, but they gave an idea. It was at the Albert Hall. It was the hundredth royal show, and the Queen was present. And they got Bruce, Ronnie, Des and I for the first and only time. And we had a great, great time. All the ladies, beautiful girls there, they were in the intercontinental suite. And there was Bruce, Ronnie, uh, Des and I, we were the incontinent suite. <laughs> and, so, and we had our own wine, pee no more. But anyway, there I was. There must have been a moment. Well, the finale was yeah. great and I, we all walked on together and I just said to the lads, let's not rush this one because no. this will never happen again. Yeah. And we all just went down and it was 
just terrific. Mm. And well, I was how, next... um, how lovely that you have all those moments. And Very you have lucky, all aren't those I? Memories. Very lucky. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Not just, not just, as you said, a performer and a colleague, but a, a true friend. Oh, a proper bloke. Yeah. I mean, proper bloke.